this is Misadventures with a procrastinating. <laughs> I should be repairing my RV, but I'm frustrated. So, five minute tip on uh, insulating your RV. So, a little late, as you can tell, it's already winter. It's 2017. So, this is shrink wrap. Okay. If you have a generator, do not do this. You need to be able to ventilate. If you don't have a generator in there and there's nothing that's going to explode, so you don't have like a gas can or maybe it's empty and you don't have a generator, then go ahead, cover this up. I use shrink wrap. Do not shrink it. I use double-sided tape, uh, double-sided carpet tape. My fingers, this is me trying to be a mechanic not and failing. And then you have the metal tape and anywhere that has an opening, a seam, I went ahead and used it. This is the refrigerator. If you are using your refrigerator, and you have propane gas or electric whatever this is for ventilation do not do this however if like me you don't use your refrigerator uh, uh, and it's you've never used the gas and you're not going to suffocate yourself then this is uh, winter just cover it up with uh, shrink wrap and then seal it uh, use double-sided carpet tape and I cut it lengthwise, so my 40 feet of double-sided carpet tape made 80 feet. And uh, same with the metal. So this is, uh, okay, that's the refrigerator. This is hydro. So this was the water. Again, I did this because I don't use it. If you use it and use the gas, don't do this. Windows. So I used the window shrink wrap. Uh, they came out with sliding glass door shrink wrap and it's actually thicker and next year I'm probably going to do that. Again, double sided tape and metal tape on top of that and just one big piece over everything. Do not bother shrinking it. Now on the inside I have bubble wrap the big bubble wrap and then I have more shrink wrap on the other side uh, I'll tell you what it makes a huge difference now this used to be pink and now it's black black attracts the Sun the Sun heats the metal the metal especially the door the door is usually the worst uh, so I went ahead and sealed the door on the outs on the inside. I don't use this door in the winter uh, because it's poorly insulated. I put um, uh, foam around it, painted it black so the sun, when it hits it, it heats it up a little bit. And then where the wind comes in underneath, I put some metal tape. Um, so this is going to be an emergency exit if I need it. These are horrible. I have it only on the passenger side. I plan on putting more shrink wrap on the inside. Um, clear as always, but you see how it's hard to see through it. It's bubbled and all that. Um, I had used regular tape. This is postal tape. So that it's okay, but not my favorite. So uh, up there as well. Um, eventually, I'm gonna do like lace borders. It's a terrible paint job, but I was running out of time. So I started doing this, then I ran out of time. Um, just to, because there's a gap and so it'll keep the windows from uh, getting all this cold air and 
I wanted to paint that black. Didn't get half time. Uh, it does leak, of course. Uh, but it's frozen now, so it's a no big deal. And I started putting the tape around and ran out of time. Eventually, I'm replacing both those windows with acrylic. One had cracked, and it went downhill from there. So, this is how you protect, uh, you winterize uh, and protect from the wind. The wind is the worst. It makes such a huge difference. I highly recommend it. This is Misadventures. Don't forget to subscribe. There's more videos coming up.